Welcome back IB Economics students. Here we are going to overview and basically briefly introduce to you guys the concept of theory of the firm. So in the next unit or in this next syllabus section, we're going to be looking at the microeconomics, very, very micro um, topic of theory of the firm. Now, what does theory of the firm concern? Okay, so we have looked at previously supply and demand. Okay, we have looked at when there are higher demand of, of prices could be uh, jacked up, when there are lower demand prices, uh, when, when there are higher demand prices could be uh, jacked up, when there are lower demand prices could be decreased. But how exactly? So there's basically different market structures. And during the firm, look at the different types of market structures. Okay, there's four market structures I'm going to be looking at that. There's um, the first one where we have um, uh, perfect competition. Okay, that's the first one. The first one we're going to look at is perfect competition. Uh, the second uh, market structure we're going to look at is a mo monopolistic uh, competition. Okay, that's the second uh, market structure we're going to be looking at. Uh, the third structure we're going to be looking at is an, is an uh, oligopoly. And the and fourth and a final structure or a market structure in this section is going to be a monopoly. Okay, so we're going to, in, in this syllabus, we're going to be looking at uh, these different four types of market structures. And within each market structure, we're going to be looking at the relationship between producers, between the consumers, between the number of producers, between the number of consumers, between the source of goods they produce. For a brief overview, within perfect competition, there is basically an infinite amount of producers and an infinite amount of consumers. And the goods they produce is also homogeneous, which means the goods they produce is identical. Furthermore, uh, within a perfect competition, there is perfect Knowledge, which means everybody knows which goods is the best for them. Everybody knows which goods is is is, is identical. Okay, so that, that's that's highly theoretical. However, it is important to use theoretical models in order to illustrate real life situations. Within monopolistic competition, of course, there are a, a fewer firms. However, there are still a lot of firms. Therefore, firms are price takers. Um, within monopolistic competition, goods are uh, not identical, but they are similar, and they substitute goods to each other. And there is not no long term. Um, super normal profits because, because there are low barriers of entry and firms can easily enter and exit. So this is basically what we're going to be looking at in theory of the firm. In oligopoly, for example, there are only a few firms, okay, only a few firms. Each firms are price setters and game theory is a very important uh, factor when we're looking at oligopolies. For monopolies, there are super normal profits, basically monopolistic competition, but because of high barriers of entries, firms cannot easily enter and exit, therefore there are um, super normal, long-term super normal profits. So uh, in, very, in theory of the firm, we're going to be looking at different types of market structures. Uh, for example, um, the dairy industry is similar to the perfect competition. It's not perfect competition, but it's similar. However, for example, the, the supermarket businesses or, or the telecommunication, for example, like Horizon or or um, 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 America uh, or, or mobile as their uh, mobile data provision services they're oligopolies monopolies could be like your local electric companies or your local water companies there's only one firm providing water in your city that's monopoly monopolistic competition could be like the snack business or the drink business the soft drink business okay so these these um firms look at the different types of industries and they break down the different market structures and and then they seek to be able to graph in graphical form what each of these structures actually which each, each of these markets actually look like and what the structures actually say about uh, about the relationship between producers between consumers between the types of goods they do and and, and, the, and the types of uh and, and the types of, of goods they produce for the for the consumers so um i hope this is a brief introduction to the theory of the firm and in the next video we're going to be breaking down um in the subsequent videos we're going to be breaking down each of these uh different types of uh firms and the relationship between producers and consumers so i hope this video is helpful in outlining an introduction of what we're going to be learning and what we're going to be observing in the future lessons so i hope this video is helpful i hope to see you guys in the next lesson i know you guys could do it and i um encourage you guys to follow the playlist and and to learn and to review the theory of the firm thank you